as you may have heard, Harmony OS, which is Huawei's own operating system, is going to be on all Huawei and on our devices from 2021 instead of Android. What I mean is that before we had two platforms, Android and iOS, but now we are going to have another one, which is Huawei's own Harmony OS. And this really gets me excited. It means that Huawei phones would be able to be better optimized for their own OS what that means is that we're going to have better performance, better battery life, and it's going to be overall faster, smoother, seamless, and efficient. So it's kind of like a combination of versatility of Android and smoothness of iOS. And trust me, it is going to be awesome. But as much as it gets me excited, it also makes me more worried. You see, in this era, Google is like an integral part of our life from Gmail to Google Maps to Google search engine itself. We are sort of like infused Google in our daily life and it is used almost everywhere. And Google services not being on it too is such a shame. Whilst in China it doesn't make much difference but in the rest of the world it definitely does. And not only it won't be having any Google services, it may also not have the apps that use Google to work like WhatsApp that uses G Drive to store data and Uber that uses Google Maps and so far and so forth. Yes, there is Huawei App Gallery and it has quite a lot of apps already but still it doesn't have as many apps as App Store or Play Store and developers still don't feel like making apps for Huawei App Galleries and it is still not as secure. Yes, you would be able to download APKs and use app by that method but again it is not secure and your device will be vulnerable to hackers, viruses, malware and adware and you don't wanna have your data stolen and being sold at the dark web. And considering this, Huawei would only be making 50 million units next year as compared to 240 units it shipped last year. That is a massive drop and also Huawei won't even be making its own current processors anymore because of the US involvement in making of it. So it would be switching to MediaTek instead which is kind of sad. Furthermore, Samsung and LG won't be able to provide OLED displays to Huawei as well as their RAM and storage due to US involvement in the making of that too. So that definitely is a big hit. And honestly, it is really hard for Huawei this time around. And if you ask me, it would take them almost 3 years to settle in because this is like they're starting from the scratch but fingers crossed, I hope everything goes fine and good luck to Huawei for the future. I've been a big fan of their phones but this situation is really bad. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about it and subscribe if you want more of this stuff. Drop a like if you enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next bit.